guys, it's your girl Adiola and you're welcome back to my channel if you're an old subscriber. If you're new to my channel, my name is Adiola. I do everything makeup and beauty. And yeah, if you're not, you subscribe to my channel, please do make sure you subscribe to my channel. Click the notification bell so you know when I upload a video. So today is another haul video. I do these haul videos so I can share with you the things I find in the market, deals and steals, bargains and all that. So if you want to see what I've got this time, please keep watching. Okay, so this time we have got a boots clearance, makeup clearance haul. So um, I don't know about you, but I mean, every time I go to boots, I pass that little corner where they put all the, you know, like clearance items and you see clearance and you see all kinds of makeup. And I'm just wondering, ugh, what are these? I'm not buying that. Oh, they're probably rubbish, you know. But I mean, this time I think I went to collect um, um, a parcel and then right behind the counter was um. The clearance bit and uh, while i was waiting for the ladies to attend to me i was looking through the things and i was like oh i might be interested in that oh okay so basically a lot of it is what maybe someone's opened you know maybe they tried it or maybe it's discontinued something like that so they put it in the clearance and you can buy for you know like half price or maybe it's 70 percent off and that kind of thing so i was a bit interested and i thought you know what let's dip in so i'll show you the things that i got i also have my my usual bits like my primark haul my little beauty bay haul and bits of bobs as well but yeah i'll show you the um my regulars and then we'll go into the boots clearance haul and you can tell me what you think is this a hit or is this a miss you be the judge of that let's see so if you've been watching my whole videos you know that i usually do get one thing or two from primark so this time i have got these lashes from primark it's called the eye catcher deluxe 3d false lashes what i think is this was probably um in their christmas collection which they probably didn't sell out because obviously there was lockdown but i mean it looks really really nice and full and kind of like wispy and you know a bit dramatic so i thought i'd get that i was hoping they would have reduced this to like maybe one pound but yeah i got two of them i'm quite interested to try this you can look at that very wispy um full and everything so yeah i also got the primark my perfect color perfect finish foundation so that's what that is that cost two pound fifty Sadly, this is definitely not my color. It's way too cool. And this has always been the problem I've had with Primark foundations. They come up way too cool on my skin tone. So they don't, they never have enough shades. I've bought, I know that I bought something like this years ago that I thought, oh, I'll put in my, my, uh, my kit for my clients. But I thought, oh, maybe they would have improved their shade range. But I mean, this one definitely does not do anything for me. It made me look really, really ashy. You can see how cool that is on my skin tone doesn't work at all so yeah this is going in the box of clients again i got the um pixie rose glow mist which i got from marks and spencers this i got because i had an offer on their beauty section with my loyalty card so i got this at 20 percent off this retails for 16 pounds it is available in boot it is available on the pixie website and i think obviously uh at marks and spencers um this has seven flower oils it's uh, great for setting makeup it's got a bit of a glow in it so all you need to do is shake it it's also antioxidant boost and it gives a nice refreshing mist and also helps to set your makeup so i really really and that smells really really nice it smells of rose i also have a beauty bait haul as usual but this time i haven't got much as well so um first i got the jeffree star um the low liquid lipstick and i've been buying this for years but this time i got this in the shade drug lord which is basically the white lipstick and i have been wanting to buy this for ages why have i got a white lipstick you may ask every now and then i like to dabble into a bit of creative makeup so and i think a lot of times when i'm doing some of those looks i'm always missing a white matte lipstick that i can use to draw you know you know something dramatic so i thought this was the perfect time to get it and this was going for i think normally 16 pounds but it was an offer they had some money off of it so i think also got it for 11 pound um 60 or something like that and usually it's out of stock so when i saw it on offer this time i thought you know this is definitely the time to get this so this is definitely this is what it looks like maybe if i do like a dramatic or creative look i'll probably be using this okay. the other thing i got is this some bh cosmetics drop dead gorgeous killer queen brush 
set so red is definitely my favorite color i don't know if you guys know but when i saw this and there was money off of bh cosmetics as well so i think this was going for about 12 pounds for this set so it comes in this box and it's got that cute little glittery um makeup bag and i do love a bit of glitter and it being red again oh i could not resist and it's got six brushes eye brushes in there how cute would this look when i'm wearing using it on my um for my makeup look so it's got that flat kind of like dome brush for your eyeshadow um on your lid it's got this fluffy blending brush which definitely is amazing for putting color on your crease or just blending blending out some harsh lines it's also got this smaller flat brush which is great for you know those um maybe cutting a crease or you can even use it as a con uh, for concealer that kind of thing so yeah a pencil um eyeshadow brush which is great for like really detailed looks like in the crease or like under the eye that kind of thing so it's got that angled eyeliner brush and finally this other smaller fluffy fluffy brush as well so so that's everything six eye brushes they feel really really nice and soft and they are synthetic brushes so yep and um, i absolutely love the chrome red color so i will be really really excited to be using this in my makeup video so watch out for them and obviously how cute is this amazing um you know little bag i love it absolutely love this this is part of my um my beauty bay haul this is the um makeup revolution correct conceal and correct concealer basically i bought this um this conceal and correct concealer before but i got it in the shade red and it turned out to be too warm for me like too red and i thought oh i probably have made a mistake in in that the red one would really really work for deeper deeper skin tones this is the shade that i would normally just use a bit more orange so kind of like your orange con corrector from um um la girl LA Girl Pro Concealers. Obviously, it does the same job to correct dark circles and you know discoloration on your face. But only get the shade that's closer to your skin tone. Yeah, so that's why this one works better for my skin than the red one. So I'm quite happy to get that this time. So here's the bit you've all been waiting for: the, my Boots Clearance Haul, Makeup Clearance Haul, and I've got my receipt here. Yeah. So um, I'm going to show you the things I've got. I've got a lot of foundations, quite a few foundations were there. So first up, I got the um, Sleek Vitality Foundation, which is a light to medium coverage foundation. This, as you can see, I got it for £2 in the clearance. So basically, it would tell you that maybe someone's used, maybe someone squirted it out to try it. And obviously, they would clean it and then try and sell it off at reduced price. This is still available maybe on the Sleek um makeup side and it hasn't been discontinued so it's very very fluid it's very fluid this color is really really warm but i don't mind it so much because you know i'm all of a neutral undertone so i've got a bit of red coming through my skin a bit of yellow so so that is what that looks like it does blend out nicely when i put it on my skin i'm a bit darker on my face so i don't mind it so much what i usually do i'll wear a light um, concealer around my eyes to um, brighten up my eyes and it does work really really nice i really really do like this and i like the feel of it as well and i found out that it doesn't really come off under my mouth because it's a light coverage foundation so there's not a lot coming off so i actually went and got another one of that one and i've put one in my makeup kit because i really really did like it so yeah next i got the l'oreal Infall infallible total cover foundation this is a matte coverage it's a full coverage matte foundation i have used this before um this is the shade cacao um oh that one the sleek one is in the shade vf21 so this one is in the shade cacao yeah this says matte cover but it doesn't feel like a thick foundation so if you can see that blend that out this is actually way too dark so i couldn't really really use this one um and this is more for deeper skin tone than mine so it didn't really really work at all but this is in the shade cacao so and when it does dry it does dry really really dark you can see that that's definitely not my shade at all now 
I actually also got a really good one and I got the, this the NYX Can't Stop One Stop Foundation. I actually was going to get this for myself to be fair. I knew this was going to be really, really dark, but I wanted something for darker skin tones to put in my makeup kit. And if you guys don't know, if, I'm, if you hear me say my makeup kit, I do do freelance makeup. Um, I do work as a freelance makeup artist as well. So I do buy stuff. Um, if it doesn't work for my skin, I will put it in my kit. So because I think, oh, I definitely will find a client that would need something like that so this is in the shade deep ebony and i knew that this was really going to be dark for my skin but i thought it'd be nice for me to show you what this looks like so that's a really really deep for a really really deep skin tone um kind of like the likes of maybe nima tang or um uh, ohima bonsu if you know them they're instagram influencers so really really deep um but it's a lovely foundation. I would really love to have got it in my own shade, but I did not, but I got it for five pounds and it normally retails for 15 pounds. So that was not too bad in the clearance section. It would usually just tell you on there that whether it's been you, someone, someone that you know opened it and pumped it out, trying to try it, but obviously in the one third of it, they were still trying to make some money off of it for whoever would buy it, but obviously you wouldn't be able to return it from the yeah, but I mean, when you do get it, it's properly sealed. Now, I believe they would have sanitized it, fingers crossed, but buy at your own risk, okay? I also got these two um, Bourjois um, Healthy Mix Foundations, and these were going for two pounds. And I think the reason for that is Boots have actually discontinued it, obviously because of the EU rules and all that, Brexit and all that. So I think this company has pulled out of the UK, but obviously you, you can still buy their products online. Some of the online retailers still sell their products and you might still be able to find it in some shops but yeah this is the bourgeois it was a really it's a really really good brand this is the bourgeois healthy mix foundation and i got one in the shade cappuccino and the other one in the shade cacao so i wanted to try both of them see which one would work be best for my skin tone to be fair both of them aren't too bad so this is cacao one is just a little bit more on the you know warmer side while the other one is a bit more on the neutral side i think cacao is a bit more red and um this is cappuccino is a bit more on the neutral side so this is cacao blend that out for you to see and um this is cappuccino so as you can see this is cappuccino here obviously a bit more of a neutral for neutral skin tone and this is cacao which is a little bit warmer so that is cacao and this is cappuccino so i tend to use both of them like i said i could be rare and i'm usually neutral so they both work really really good for so i'll be using both of them I'm quite, I'm quite fortunate in that sense and it's quite nice on the skin it feels really really good and you know it's not too thick it's more of a medium coverage foundation so yeah if you do find it I would say you could probably try and it would be getting for like you know good money at this also time. from the boots clearance i was quite fortunate to get the um nyx can't stop won't stop um concealer i do have the can't stop won't stop um powder i don't have the foundation but yeah i mean i was quite happy to get the one of the concealers in the shade mahogany and i got this for five pounds normally rate is for about 10 pounds but yeah that's really really great color for me for you know um for highlighting under my eyes and you know you know the center of my face and all that so lovely lovely concealer i really really do like it I like that it's not too thick and it's not too um too runny so yeah that's a good one I also got two um nyx brow pencil so i've got the precision brow pencil and this is in the shade espresso so that's that one precision brow pencil in the shade espresso this is more of like the angled one it's got it's a, got the brush a brow brush and it's got the um here but what i found with this one probably because it's from the clearance section it hasn't worked very very well the color is all right and the way it works, the performance is all right. The only thing is that it keeps breaking off. Every time I twist it up, I get a little break off, a little break off. And I think, you know, I'm, get, I'm getting less product than what I eventually paid for. I must have paid about five pounds for, which is still not, which is still not cheap, you know? Because I mean, I have had an eyebrow pencil for about two pounds and they work really well. I'm a bit disappointed with this one, but I'm, I am using it. I don't know whether that's what it's like normally or just because this one is from the clearance section i don't know but it's a it's a good color this is in the shade espresso 
I also got this, the micro brow pencil in, um, in brunette. So that is the micro brow pencil. Anyway, sorry. NYX micro brow pencil. And that also has got the brush and it's got a thinner pencil. It's more for precise um, brow application. So I kind of like the brunette a bit more because it's a bit more red, a bit more warmer. I feel like the espresso is more cool, it's cooler while the um, brunette is kind of like warmer. So it's got more of like red undertone to a bit more browny. I don't know if you can see that. You can see that's going to more dark and this one's going a bit more kind of like brownie you know i think this is probably what i would probably be going for more so this is in the shade brunette so i thought i'd treat myself to another um mascara i got the stiller waterproof volumizing mascara and this is five pounds definitely would have cost more but this is because this is the old packaging and they have discontinued products in their old packaging or maybe their old line so i just thought that mascara is mascara you know this there was nothing wrong with it that's what that is and uh it's black still intact it hasn't dried out so i like the brush so yeah yeah that's not too bad we'll see how much volume it gives me when i actually use it use it but yeah yeah i knew what they're doing now retails for about 17 pounds thereabouts so getting that for five pounds and last but not the least i got some lipsticks i got um the nyx there was a lot of nyx products in the clearance section you know so and i do love nyx so i got the nyx soft matte lip cream in the shade stockholm and um that's what that looks like Think about the soft matte lip cream, they're a bit funny. That's not really applying very, very nicely. But I like the colour. It's a nice kind of like nude with a nice lip liner. I also got this um, lip lingerie in the shade push-up. Now, I got this because I thought, oh, another lip lingerie. I'm going to get this. When I got home, I found out I already had this shade. And I was like, oh, seriously? Oh, it's exactly the same. But I actually do like this shade. And I love the lip lingeries. They're a bit more matte. Sorry, my dogs are barking. So that's that one. Another nice, um, you know, kind of like brownie nude. That's more of a peachy nude. Yeah. So the soft matte lip creams are a bit more comfortable on the lips. These are a bit more drying. So you need to probably moisturize your lips before you use this one. Sorry, my dogs are barking. I don't know why they're barking. Oh. This one, I think, was about three pounds. This was um, about four pounds. Normally, this retails for six pounds, for seven pounds, and this normally retails for six pounds. So, a little bit of saving on that one. And the last was not the least, was the, but not the least, is this um, Wet n Wild Mega Last Liquid Cat Suit. I'm like, I do have some shades in this lipstick, and I do like the formula as well. Matte lipsticks are absolutely my favorite, you know. I do wear a bit of glossy lipstick every now and then, but I'm more inclined to wear a matte lipstick just because of the longevity of it, and I just like the bold, you know, effect that it gives me. So I got this in the shade um, Rebel Rose, and that's more of a pinky kind of nude. I did feel I needed to update my, my new um, lipstick collection. So that's what that looks like. Not very, very good at swatching, but hopefully you get the idea, you know. Okay, so that's everything I have in my haul this time. The Boots Makeup Clearance, tell me what you think, whether you would be, you know, dipping into the clearance section if you do pass by or you will be having a little look to see if you can get some steals and deals. Yeah, that's everything in my haul. I hope you like this video. If you do and if you think this video was helpful, please, click that like button make sure you like this video before you leave if you're not yet subscribed to my channel please do subscribe to my channel that would really really be helpful and yeah thank you so much for watching if you made it to the end and i will see you in my next video thank you so much bye